spent a lot of time making sure the vehicles felt real. And what I mean by that is that it was making sure that there was a vehicle per situation. If you're going to build a choose your own adventure, you've got to be able to kind of choose your own weapon. And the vehicles are part of that. We want vehicles to really have a sense of purpose in the world. Even narratively, we wanted vehicles to kind of have a personality. So you're going to meet Nick Rye and he's going to talk about, uh, you know, the plane that's been in, in his family for generations and the cult has actually stolen that plane and he wants you to kind of help bring it back. And the plane's named Carmina and he's going to refer to Carmina all the time, basically. Even when you recruit him as your guns for hire and he's just like flying above you and uh, raining havoc on, on cultists. So there is another character in another region who's one of my favorite characters because she's tough and she's surly and she's abrasive. And she has a vehicle that can fly and do a lot of damage. And her personality comes with it. And it's so much fun. You're going to be able to find a wide variety of vehicles. There's some really specific ones and unique ones like the Widowmaker. It's just, it's Optimus Prime. It's incredible. You get into that thing and it's just like, I will now destroy everything forever with music. The Widowmaker is kind of a battering ram on wheels. It really allows you to destroy everything on your path. Uh, it's even equipped with machine guns, so you're really able to kind of go in every location and, and do what you have to do. There was a very specific thing that I wanted to be able to put in the game, which is there's nothing to me, more American than getting in a classic muscle car and driving down the road with some badass tunes playing. You instantly feel like life makes sense. It wouldn't be a game set in Montana without the muscle cars. When we went on to visit, we saw a lot of people just kind of tuning their own old muscle cars. Like, I think it's something uh, of a nostalgia or something of a kind of pride. If it's as simple as you want to get into this classic muscle car and bomb down the road, you can. If you decide you want to get into a big rig, you can. If you want to fly, you can. If you want to get into a big rig with guns, you can. We want the player to find his own favorite vehicle. That's why we wanted to players to be able to customize their own weapons and change the color schemes and really kind of change some attachments. You can really mount different weapons on a plane. You can go from just a regular plane to a plane with, uh, with rockets, with a machine gun, cluster bomb. It was important for us to uh, give as many options as possible to the player. Uh, depending on your play style, you want to kind of go in from above or go in from water or from the ground. So there's always a different vehicle at your disposition, at your disposal, uh, to kind of change up your strategy or change up your approach. Yeah.